This parenting tip is brought to you by the Lyle S. Hallman Foundation. You always want your kids to know how, how much you, you know, you love them, uh, how much, you know, how much you, if there's one thing I could say, it would be that, you know, just how much you deeply desire that you can have a relationship that has mutual respect. And um, I think that's the thing, you know, you have to nurture them, you have to love them, and then eventually at some point you have to let them go. But to me, you know, it's all about mutual respect. And it kind of reminds me of a story with one of my, uh, well, again, it was uh, my son, Brandon. And uh, I remember when he was in grade four, grade five. And I, it's the only time I ever did this. And I, that was probably 25 years ago that I did this. And I still remember it like it was yesterday. <clears throat> and he had done something. And I can't remember what it was, but you know, it wasn't the end of the world, but he'd done something. And I said, oh my God, how can you be so stupid? And he left and he ran up to his room. And I went up there and I asked him, I said, no, what, what, what you know, I'm, you know, what's good? But the only thing that came out of his mouth of that entire exchange was, you called me stupid. And he was like eight or nine years old. And oh my God, I mean, a light went on as to the impact that had, you know, and the parent to the child, and the parent, you know, quickly looking for a word in desperation or a lack of patience, and says something that indelibly was put in his mind. And I've never forgotten that.